Hello everybody, Shalom. Maybe it's better to do these streams earlier than later. I don't really even know anymore. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another stream. Um, we're, we might be trying to stream this live on Instagram as well, so I'm not 100% sure if we are. There might be some technical difficulties here in the beginning, but hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Uh, reason why I'm doing this stream a bit early today is because my, my mother is here in Israel and today is my mom's birthday. So I'm, I got to go um, right after this to be with my mom. Actually, I haven't seen her all day. I've been working. So uh, happy birthday, mom, if you're watching. Happy birthday, Emma. I love you very much. Um, she's probably not watching this, though. <laughs> uh, so we're let's start this stream off. How's everyone doing? Welcome, one and all. Lots of crazy shit is going on in Israel. Uh, as always, every day there's some new crazy shit to unpack and to talk about. Uh, I also don't have access right now to my um to properly to my traveling clat youtube channel because i'm doing some admin stuff so i won't actually be able to run any polls unfortunately during the stream uh and also i want to say a huge thank you to shana our incredible moderator who's here moderating the crap out of this chat every live stream every time she's always here being amazing and we really appreciate her and we love her very much so Shayna, thanks for being a, a core member of our community. We appreciate you. Um, and hey, so everybody who has, who's ever, whoever's here, today's stream is going to be a bit shorter, only about an hour long. I got to go maybe in around an hour. Um, but let me know where you're watching from. Let me know who's watching from where. So cool that we have 30, 40 people watching right here at the beginning of the stream. Wow, I might have to stream a little bit earlier moving forward. This is uh, amazing. A lot of people jumping in right in the beginning. This is really dope. Um, maybe this is a better time to stream at. I'm streaming at six today instead of seven when I usually do. So let me know where you guys are watching from. Thank you to everybody here who's here who is a member. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you to the members in the chat. Love you guys. Appreciate you all being here. Um, yeah, I know some of you guys have to tell me every stream where you're from. I just because I forget, I can't remember everyone. There's a lot of people watching. <laughs> but I always appreciate you telling me where you're watching from, what time is it for you. Um, I'm just going to let no, I'm gonna let Jack know because he's trying to figure out how to cross stream this at the same time as um, at the time that we're streaming this on Instagram. Dude, we've never tried to do this before, streaming on Instagram and on YouTube at the same time. Let me know, Jack, if you need anything. Um... Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Who is watching? We've got Mars Mello. Hey, Mars Mello, welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, BT's here. Ben. Oh, Ben, what's up, man? How are you? Holy shit, they've been firing a lot of rockets at your ass. How are you doing? Are you okay? This, they've been firing rockets like crazy, both in the north and the south. We gotta, we're going to talk about that. Um, what's up, chilling in Canada? Lily, BT. Thank you to all the members who are here. You guys are amazing. Zay G Zay is watching from Manila. Thank you for watching. Shane is here, of course, the amazing Shane, our incredible moderator. Isabel's here. I let Mama know that you said happy birthday. Lily's here. What's up, Lily? Bonjour. Victoria's here. Retro's here. Rainy T. That's a new one. Jersey City. What's up, Rainy T? Atheist Gamer is here. What's up, Atheist Gamer? Some new names I'm seeing. That's really exciting. Welcome, everybody. We do these streams every other day. Um, we talk about Israel. We talk about the news. We have conversations. Yuko! Yuko is here. Thank you for being here, Yuko. Konnichiwa. Genki desu ka. I'm so happy that you're here. Um, so great. So great. Wow. $50 right off the bat from HD. Holy shit. Thank you so much, man. I'm going to spend that on my mama today. Actually, I already spent that on my mama. You just bought my mom a birthday gift. Thank you. HD, thank you so much. I, I, I appreciate it. I was going to talk about my video. Um, thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks for the constant support on the channel. It, it seems that you guys really love the on the ground stuff because that video is performing really well as well. We've got another video from the north coming out tomorrow um, where we explored Kirach Mora as a ghost town. And I promise you guys I'm working on some insane stuff this week. I'm going to the West Bank tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I think I'm going to be in the West Bank the whole week. Um, so a lot of really crazy on the ground shit that I'm going to be filming this week. And I really appreciate that support so much. It means a lot and it goes a long way to helping me continue to make more of this stuff. So thank you, HD. You're fantastic. Um, should we just get straight into the news and then you guys can sort of, you guys can sort of, uh, 
feed off of me. I don't have any videos in Nazareth recently, but if you scroll back on my channel, 2017, I think I went to Nazareth and made a video there about the birthplace of, uh, or not the birthplace of Jesus, but the place where Jesus was raised um, and some food videos there. Nazareth is a cool city. I would love to go back. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what's going on. Uh, it's been a crazy weekend. Uh, last time I, I did a stream was on Thursday. So Friday, the entire country pretty much was bracing for an imminent attack from Iran. Um, we talked about this on our last live stream with Other Barak, who, by the way, Other Barak will be going live right after my stream. Might even concur in the middle towards the end of my stream. So make sure you guys go check out my boy Other Barak um, towards the end of this stream. Uh, you guys will, you guys can go check him out. Um, great dude, making incredible content. I highly recommend you guys watch him. Uh, he'll do a stream as well. Um, and he's gonna be talking specifically about there was a really horrible incident yesterday at a protest here in Israel where a car. I guess I got super panicked because people were mobbing their car and there was a lot of cursing going back and forth that they, um, they what's it called? They drove by and they ran a bunch of people over. Um, Doug is here. What's up, Doug? How you doing, Doug? Um, so, 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 so. Crazy news. As I said earlier, we were bracing for an imminent attack from Iran pretty much all weekend. It never happened. But what has happened is that there's been a consistent increase in attacks from all of Iran's proxies, uh, the Houthis, the Iraqi militias in Syria and Lebanon and Hamas have all been firing rockets nonstop at Israel. International condemnation, zero, zip, nothing. No talk about it. I haven't heard one news piece talking about what's been going on. Not one, not one. Hey, my boy Barack is here. Guys, go check out his live stream right after this. He'll be live in about an hour. Make sure you go check him out. So Ben just dropped us another 30 Shekhar Chuber chat. Said to the pro-Palestinian people, hit me up. If you think we are wrong, I'll argue. I am pro-Palestinian, but not in your Western idea of it. I couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. I'm pro-Palestine as well. Um, oh, I think we're not going to be able to do this uh, live. Uh, we're not going to be able to do this live cross-platform thing on Instagram. Sorry, Jack. I actually don't know the password of my Instagram by heart, <laughs> so it's not going to work. Um, thank you, Ben, for the super chat. Thank you for 75 people being here so quickly. Uh, essentially, the weekend was full of that. There have been nonstop barrages of rockets coming into Israel from the north, from the south. Uh, Palestinians have been returning to the north of the Gaza Strip. And therefore, Hamas has been firing more rockets from the north of the Gaza Strip. For anybody who thinks that this war is over or that the, the dismantling of Hamas is close is very much mistaken. And the reason why is that because Palestinian identity, for the most part, is pretty much intertwined with the existence of Hamas. We've been talking about this a lot recently. Is that when, when you pull Palestinians in the Gaza Strip, a month ago, it came from independent Arab sources that were pulling Palestinians. And you pull Palestinians to the West Bank, even after all this suffering and all this strife and all this horrible shit that's been happening to the Palestinian people, overwhelmingly, 70% of the population still supports Hamas, what they did on October 7th. The Palestinian population and Hamas are kind of intertwined. So getting rid of Hamas is not really possible. And I think we're finding that out slowly. We're really finding that out. Um, that they're kind of one and the same. Allison just dropped us a $10 super chat. Thank you so much, Allison. I appreciate you a lot. Uh, I love your videos. I think you're doing a great job. Stay safe and keep up the great reporting. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Sarit is here from Kfar Saba. Makore Sarit. She missed our live chats. Well, welcome, babe. You made it. You made it back for another one. We had a lot of shit to talk about today. It's a fucked up situation out here. Um... <clears throat> It seems like the Israeli government has either caved or is preparing for an entry into Rafah. Now, I'm seeing mixed reports. Some reports, some reporting that I really trust have been mentioning that uh, the withdrawal from the north of the Gaza Strip and from uh, Khan Yunis is in preparation to re-enter Rafah and finish off Hamas. I'm starting to think for most of the reporting that I've seen that a hostage deal has been made and it seems like the hostages or at least part of the hostages are going to be freed and the war is going to be put on pause for a while. 
uh, it's fucked. It really is fucked because there's no... We lost. Essentially, in that case, Israel has fully lost this war, um, has gained nothing, and the, 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 the people in charge of the Palestinian militias like Hamas and the PIJ are going to use this... Um, they're going to use this as a way to, uh, to, to propagate more extremism, probably attack Israel again in the future and kill more people. The, the reality is that Palestinian lives are not going to get better from this point forward. Israelis are more traumatized and people are going to be more on edge. And holy shit, we got 100 people in the live chat. Thank you so much to 100 people for being here. This is amazing. Um, but it looks like Palestinian people's lives are not going to improve after, from this point forward. Um, but this is the problem, just like Lily wrote right now. There's too much pressure coming from outside forces of Israel. Most of the people in Israel want to continue this war. Most of the people in Israel would like to see a demilitarized Gaza. They want to see Hamas completely out because we don't feel safe anymore. But because of Joe Biden, and I don't want to put all the blame on Joe Biden. The Israeli government has have to do with this as well. But because of Joe Biden putting immense pressure on the United States, I have to see that this situation is probably caving in predominantly because of this. Um, and because we can't continue without American support. And it looks like American support and support from around the world is waning completely. And at the base sentiment, what this means, right? As a Jewish person, I have to look at it objectively. But I'm a Jew, so I also have to look at it from the Jewish perspective. As an objective reality, this is what I see. If, yeah, no, Cheskia is right. We've if if this is actually a withdrawal of the IDF from Gaza, and it's not to go back in, and it's just a hostage deal, we have lost completely. I agree. If we re-enter and go for Rafah, then I think we haven't lost yet. Um, but if we have, if we if we finished and we're out, then it's a complete loss on Israel's end. Complete loss. But what it means to me when I look at it, I see. What I see is every other country in the world. No matter if there's collateral damage, no matter if there's um, aid workers who get injured, no matter if there's human rights violations, multiply it five times, ten times what has happened between Israel and Gaza since the war began. Every other country in the world can do whatever they want. Israel, Jews are not allowed. That's, that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm internalizing from this. Because if we look at it just numbers wise... This isn't the most deaths that have happened in any conflict in the Middle East. Not, in, not just the Middle East, but the entire world. Not at the same rate. Not the same rate of, uh, of, of women and children dying. Not the same rate of combatants dying. This is very, very historically low levels of combatants dying. Or of, uh, of innocent civilians dying. Um, the, uh, <clears throat> the brutality of this war... Um, and the precision pinpoint striking that the IDF has done and the insane things that the, the IDF has done during this war. Um, all of those achievements, everything from, from the perspective of combat, from the perspective of um, <clears throat> military, objectives, military objectives and the way they've, they've handled themselves during this war, all of it goes by the wayside. It doesn't matter. Israel is not allowed to engage in that way. But tomorrow... And there will be, mark my words, tomorrow, if there's a civil war that sparks in Lebanon and 50,000 people die, or in Syria, if the continuous genocide of the people in Syria happens in the Syrian civil war, or in some random country in Africa, let's say if it's the Congo, or if it's um, in Nigeria, or if, it, if there's anything that happens in any other one of those countries, there will be zero international condemnation. Zero international condemnation. And that's it, and and that's what I take as a <clears throat> that's what I take as a as a note from all of this. It's not that we're morally corrupt. It's not that the Israeli society is morally fucked up. It's just that Jews are not allowed to defend themselves, and the international community is telling us that. Now, I think if we're smart as Israelis, as Jews, we need to understand that this should have been. There's been many final straws before this, but this should be a major final straw. To understanding the fact that we don't actually have any allies in this world. Period. Period. We don't really have any allies in this world outside of us, uh, outside of ourselves. 
And it's, this is a common trend that we've seen around the entire world. Now, obviously, there's a lot of non-Jewish people and non-Israelis that support Israel. But when we look at governments, the fact that our best friend, the United States of America, has not been able to uphold when the U.S. itself has done more horrific things than anything near what has happened in Gaza and that the U.S. has supported way worse regimes and way worse operation, just the immense hypocrisy of this whole situation, it shows you that we need to escape the, 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 the grasp of being reliant on anyone. I'm not sure how that happens in a world like this because we do need to be reliant on people. Maybe it means we need to start up a bigger coalition in the Middle East, become more friendly with the people and the countries that hate Iran uh, to support ourselves. But in reality, uh, this is the truth, is that we need to become more self-reliant because we can't get to a point in, in, in this war and, uh, and see that we get to this point and see that somebody like the President of the United States of America thinking about his re-election can fuck up everything for us. Um, Lizzie Birdsworth said, Tall, uh, to traveling client, don't you have Azerbaijan as a friend? You gave them weapons to kill Armenians. You are okay with Islamists when it is cool, when it is to kill Armenians. Um, I think that, I think that that's a bit of a, a bit of a twisting of the situation. I think that Israel and Azerbaijan's relationship has been a bit rocky, but it's been mostly, um, what's it called? It's been mostly an economic, uh, an, an economic relationship, not, if I remember correctly, it could be misquoted, yeah? I could be saying this wrong, but if I remember correctly, it's not based on weapons contracts, and that was a very recent thing. Um, and for one, there's a huge population of Armenians in Israel, um, which is pr they're protected and part of the country. Um, and, uh, man, what else did I say about that? Armenian and Azerbaijan. Um, I'm not, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not too informed about the entire situation in Armenia and Azerbaijan, but, uh, but there are, there are countries buying and selling weapons one to another all over the world. And I don't think it's the responsibility of the person who is selling the weapons to you to be responsible or, or, uh, take ownership over what's happening in that country. For example, Russia, Russia sold weapons to most of the axis of evil for the last hundred years, right? AK-47s, whatever Russia has been selling. Do I blame Russia for every single thing that's happening in every single country? No, no, it's not. that's not the case. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's, there's obviously nuances to every single situation. And uh, it's a situation. Um, Nico Arcadia said, Send ten dollars in the super chat. Thank you so much, Nico. I appreciate you. Said two st two state solution is a dead issue. America chose to play stupid. The thing is with America, they're not even. I, I don't even see them. I haven't seen Joe Biden or anybody in the American government for the last month or so talk about the two state solution. It's just been ceasefire, unconditional ceasefire with no conditions for Hamas at all. Um, it's not even a two state solution conversation anymore because in reality, nobody here is willing to accept the two state solution. Um, thank you, Nico, for the $10, by the way, if I didn't say it already. Thank you so much. Appreciate that a lot. Appreciate the support. Um, we're at $77 in the chat. We're 20 minutes in. It's fucking crazy. You guys are amazing. Um, thank you mostly to HD for dropping a 50 right in the beginning. Appreciate you a lot. Um, but, but yes, this is the situation, is that uh, nobody here is really willing to live next to a Palestinian state. I'm going to be traveling in and out of the West Bank for the next couple of days. And I can tell you firsthand, there's no way there's no way to protect Israel with having people who fire rockets at you from the mountains. It's not possible. A, a creation of the state of Palestine is an internal is an eternal war between Israel and Palestine. Or at the end, somebody has to get ethnically cleansed. There's no way to live side by side with Palestinians at the moment with the current government governance. It's not possible, unfortunately. Uh, one two BK L my shoe. Thank you for being a member and thanks for supporting the channel for a long time now. Said the real question is why no one cares about the recent ethnic cleansing of Armenians last year. The answer is no one really cares because it's an ethnic cleansing by Christian of Christians by a Muslim. I'll tell you. I'll tell you something further. And I don't. I, the thing is, for me, as somebody who's traveled and will probably continue to travel around the world, 
it's a bit dangerous for me to start calling out every single, you know, I'll do it for countries that I probably will never make it to, but I can't, I can't just call out every ethnic cleansing and genocide in the world because I've, t I've taken this hardline stance before. It's not my fucking place. There are genocides and ethnic cleansings happening all over the planet every day, 10 times larger in scale than anything that's happened in the war or the entire history of whatever you want to call the perceived Nakba or the establishment of the state of Israel. There has been more death and destruction and nobody gets the amount of news coverage. Nobody gets the amount of pressure that Israel does. Nobody gets the amount of, of screen time as Israel-Palestine. It's very unique to this conflict and it's actually insane. Like it's not, it's not a sane situation in any, in any capacity. It's fucking insane. It's, it's absolutely crazy <coughs> that it's like this. Um, oh, wait, I think I am going live on Instagram now. Hey, we're live on Instagram now. This is crazy. Okay, we're live on Instagram as well. Hey, everyone. Well, uh, for anybody who's watching this on Instagram, I'm live on YouTube as well. So I'm answering people's questions. We're speaking particularly right now about, uh, about Israel and Iran. Um, people are dropping super chats. So if you guys want to engage from Instagram, you can hop over to YouTube. We've got 150 live viewers right now. This is dope. You guys sent over $77. So thank you so much. Um, okay, let's see here. Whoa, I don't even know what currency this is. S-E-K. That was uh, like 20 bucks. What is S-E-K? I got to look that up. Liv Dahlberg. Thank you so much. She said, love my work. Thank you. What currency is S-E-K? Huh? Shekel? No, it's not. S-E-K currency. Oh, Swedish. Swedish. Swedish crown. Swedish crown. It's a Swedish crown. Okay. Thank you so much. First time I think I've gotten that currency. Thank you, Liv. Appreciate you a lot. I'm going to read through some of your comments here. Um... Let's let's read. So we oh, wow, we're live with a bunch of people right now. A bunch of people are joining on Instagram as well. This is exciting. Um, okay, just if anybody's watching on Instagram, if you want to drop me questions, I can't really see the chat on Instagram. I think so. I can't really answer your questions. But if anybody from Instagram is watching and wants to engage, uh, write me a chat on uh, write me a question on on YouTube, and we'll talk there. We've got 150 people watching on YouTube right now. Um, let me see here. I want to read a little bit while you guys sing. See, some of these comments I can't even read because I really want to watch my ass with some of this stuff. Uh, Nadine Shapiro says, Tal, they're pulling out of Gaza. Is this a preparation for them to go into Rafah? This is a situation that we're all wondering. Again, there's people who have way more knowledge than me when it comes to what the Israeli military is doing. But um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of uh, I'm seeing a lot of news that are that's talking about the fact that um, Israel is preparing right now to go into Rafah, but also preparing for a potential um, is going to prepare for a potential uh, uh, what's it called P a potential entry into Rafah. It's it's really hard to tell exactly what's going on. It really is. Um, I also see this guy, uh, Muhammad, who joined our stream a couple weeks ago, wrote us a nice comment on Instagram. Uh, so I can read the comments on Instagram. I was wrong. It said, Iran going to fuck Israel. Very nice. I don't know if you guys remember, if anybody remembers Muhammad from the last stream we did, two streams ago, we had him call into the stream and speak to us live. Uh, he came off as a very calm, reserved person who definitely was not anti-Semitic. Now he says... Iran going to fuck Israel. That's a very, that's a very level-headed, normal thing to say. <laughs> Muhammad is very angry. <laughs> yeah, this is why this is why I felt very comfortable on the last live stream or that stream that we did to just talk shit to him, because like, I don't respect people who are anti-Semitic in any capacity, and that's not. That's not a, that's not like, I've got nothing to hide here. He's clearly anti-Semitic. It's an open and shut case. There's nothing else to say. It's not like I'm perceiving his anti-Semitism. He is an anti-Semite. Um, so that's just my personal policy is I don't really like to entertain 
having anti-Semites on a stream with me. Um, we're at $90. I just realized $90 in super chats. You guys are fucking amazing. This is so cool. Um, let's see. I, I got an interesting comment here. Somebody tagged me. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Traveling Clyde, do you understand that the world is upset about so many buildings destroyed in Gaza? 62% of buildings destroyed in Gaza. And your point is what? What, what is your point about uh, the buildings destroyed in Gaza? There, there was 1,200 Jews murdered, not Jews, just Israelis, who are both Palestinians, Arabs, Druze, uh, uh, 1,200 people that were murdered in cold blood on October 7th. The world doesn't give a fuck doesn't give the smallest fuck. Even the littlest, tiniest little fuck doesn't give. There's still 130 hostages right now held in Gaza, some of which are Muslim Arabs. It's Ramadan. It's been Ramadan for a month. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody gives a fuck. So you want to talk to me about destroyed buildings in Gaza? What's the correlation? What, what, like, you, can't, you, can't say, you, can't, you can't ignore the cause of what's going on right now push it off and pretend like you don't care about it at all, which is the sole reason why the IDF is in Gaza, and then expect the this nation to care about the buildings in Gaza. I mean, I know how it destroyed Gaza as I've seen it. I would say it's more than 60%. I've seen it with my own eyes from far away, but I've seen it with my own eyes. It's fucking horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Matt Catter said you were mentioned by apostate prophet Ellie super chatted and they said they would look into you. Wow, that's so cool. I saw something about this in the comments. Yeah, I, I, I actually reacted. Ellie, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's unbelievable of you. Let's hope, fingers crossed, that something like that can happen. It would be really, really cool um, to... Uh, it would be really cool to engage. Holy shit, we have 180 people right now on YouTube. We are bouncing like crazy. This is amazing. A lot of people on the stream. Very successful stream tonight. I can tell also the Instagram stream. I'm, I'm watching like the numbers coming in and out. And some of it is just friends of mine who are like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Wrong live stream. Um, Pierre FIV Foundation said, any advice for a gay chihuahua? I got nothing for you, buddy. I don't know. Just keep doing you. Keep doing you. Keep doing you. Okay, let's see. Owl's Meth Mouth said, how can Israel not expect more terrorists with so many dwelling is gone? That's what I wonder. New terrorists are being created. The, okay, so here's the problem. If we handle this in an American way, then the, the perspective is, if we handle this in a way that, of America, of democracy now, of let's, let's, let's go into Gaza, destroy everything and create a new government of, of, of democracy and voting and whatever. If we do that, that's how you create more terrorists. The problem is you can't, you can't just do that. You can't just come and destroy a bunch of shit and leave. I don't think that's ever been the plan, the plan from the beginning. But the problem is we're, uh, the hand of the Israeli government and the army is being forced by outside forces. It's like you can't actually continue this without the support of people that you need to support you, which is uh, countries like America and whatever right now without being sanctioned, without getting like completely turned on. But you can't really do it. You can't actually, you can't actually complete the, the goal of eradicating Hamas or at least replacing it in supporting a system. And that doesn't have to be a democracy. I don't even think a democracy would really work. I, I'm, I behold the, the ideology that democracy doesn't really work, period, in the Middle East. When you look around you, democracy doesn't work. It doesn't even work here in Israel properly. So if I look around the Middle East and I say, okay, I want to instill a democracy in Palestinian society, I don't think most Palestinians want democracy, to be honest with you. Maybe the Palestinians who have gotten used to it within Israeli territory are happy with it, but I don't, think, I don't think most Palestinians want democracy. I don't think that's what we need to strive for. But obviously coming in and demolishing all the buildings and leaving without an action plan is not gonna, that's never gonna cause the issue. But I think the priority from the Israeli side, and this has always been the priority from the beginning, and I think most of the nation is together on this, it's get in there, destroy as much of Hamas as possible, get the hostages back, and then figure out the next plan. That's, that's the actionable plan, I think, from, from the perspective that I see. Um, ben dropped us another six check. He said, yes, Scott, we have bounce you trend follower. Don't know what that means, Ben. I have no idea what you're talking about there. Um, 
but I appreciate you with the super chat anyways. Thank you so much. Um, all right, let's see here. Let me read some more comments. Cheski, I said, bro, you're the terrorist. Get it through your thick Arabian head. Thanks, man. My thick Arabian head has gotten it in ingested. I'm definitely the terrorist in this situation. Um, Unicorn1620 said, I don't like that argument. Why didn't taking out the Nazis just create more Nazis? Don't fall for the manipulative victim blaming Takia bullshit. Why don't, why didn't taking out the Nazis create more Nazis? No, no, you're, you're conflating something here. There needs to be a plan for the Middle East. Nazis were European at a course, a different culture altogether. Arabs and Europeans, completely different reality. Completely different reality. The, the problem is that most, while, while the Nazification of Europe was going on, a predominant amount of Europeans were still not crusading or not ethnically cleansing people. That period of Europe was already over. You know, the Nazism that, that developed in Europe at the time of World War II was kind of like the last death roll of this ideology of occupying and ethnically cleansing and taking over. It was like the last one before it was over. This has been going on in the Arab world from the, from the, the, from the birth of Arabism as a concept and the, you know, the spreading of Islam through colonization of Arabs around the Middle East until now, it's still happening today. Go ask the Yazidis, go ask the Mandeans, go ask the Mennonites, go ask the cops, ask any ethnic minority in the, in the Middle East. It's happening today. It's not happening yesterday or a thousand years ago. It's happening today. That's not happening in Europe. And that's why it's not the same actionable plan. It's happening today. Arabs and Muslims as a whole around the Middle East, but I, it, the thing is it's hard to even say that because it's not really true Arabs and Muslims because Arabs, true Arabs come from one region. The Arabified people use that title in a way to ethnically cleanse more culture. But it's, it's sort of an internal oppression. It's an internal colonization that's been latched onto them. And it's a problem. It's a real issue. Um, and it's still happening to this day. One to be kale my shoe dropped us another five dollars on super chat wrote maybe you can do on the ground reporting for apostate profit and other channels it could be a good way to collaborate with other youtubers i would love to i would absolutely love to could be a way to grow i think that would, it's one of the big uh, ways i'd love to get involved especially if i stay here with more uh with more people um i'd love to continue growing this channel in that capacity by the way 188 people watching on youtube right now Fuck it, dope we're at 96 dollars, almost a hundred dollars for the super chats today you guys are amazing. 30 minutes in. Absolutely amazing. Um, so thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I would love to do on-the-ground reporting for, for, for most um, big channels that would be interested. I'd love to do some collaborations and keep growing the Traveling Clad as a brand here in Israel. Because to be honest, I'm becoming more, way more passionate about doing sort of something like this, like the live streams. And then every once in a while, do a really nice report on the ground. Um, Nadine Shapiro wrote us, Tall, the WCK uh, convoy, did Hamas orchestrate that and blame it on Israel? I'm, the reports I've read, it, it's been unclear for me right now. I'm seeing some people saying that Hamas did orchestrate it. I'm seeing others that it was an accident on Israel's side that they completely owned up to and it was 100% on the fault of Israel. I don't know, but the, the, the reality is, is there's fucking, it's like, what do you think? What do you think is going to fucking happen? What is Israel, like, I don't get it. I really don't understand. Is there, there, can there be no mistake made in a fucking war where Hamas has tunnels underground under civilians and hospitals and everything is expected to flow properly? But even when Israel admits, takes accountability immediately, it's still like the fucking Jews. It's the fucking Jews, man. They always want to do this shit. The fucking Jews. What is this? I don't understand. What's the fucking, what is, what gets people up in the morning and makes them think? But they, again, from the Jewish perspective, you look at this and you say, you say to yourself, you're like, it's irrational. It doesn't actually make any sense because I could count word, uh, uh, of, of, of aid workers in war zones dying a long fucking list, not just in the Middle East, but around the world, a long list Events way worse than what happened. And I'm not saying it's not a tragedy. It's horrible. But who gets this fucking, who gets this flack other than Israel? 
Who gets the flack? Tell me. Tell me someone. Who gets this flack? It's no one but Israel. Because nobody actually cares. They just, they, they, and that was the disgusting part to me about this whole thing. It's a tragedy. And seeing, and I saw the videos of their dead bodies and the way that they died, it looked horrible. It looked absolutely horrific. But what, do we all of a sudden push the bodies of the supposed 30,000 Palestinians that are dead, women and children, right? There's no Hamas members amongst them, under the ground and put the white people on top? If that's not a sign of the internal colonization that's going on here in Palestinian society, I don't know what else is. I really don't know what else is. We've pushed all the dead Palestinian bodies underground and it only matters. It only re-sparked interest of a bunch of people. I saw people who have never shared anything about this war share stuff about the war because of that incident. Because there were white people involved, because there were Europeans involved. Holy fuck, 200 people in the chat. 200 people in the chat tonight, folks. Holy goddamn shit. That's amazing. Thank you for all being here. Unicorn1620 just super chatted us $5. Said, P.S. That was me who super chatted to AP about you the other night. Really would love to see you collab. He seemed interested. That's dope, man. Look, keep, if you guys love me, save the money. You're going to super chat me here. Super chat him about me. So hopefully we can make something happen because I think we'd get along. I think we'd get along really well. Um, I, I was actually just watching their content. Um, his live stream before I started this one. Um, so if you guys, uh, if you guys want to see me get and get on and collaborate with them, please, 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 please send them a message. Just keep super chatting instead of super chatting here. We're already at $101 and 69 cents, 69 cents, uh, on this stream. So thank you so much, but super chat the other people that you want, you want me to collaborate with because that it'll give them a bigger chance. When I try to email them, they don't respond. When I try to comment, they don't answer. So um, yeah. I'll, okay, I'll take that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to email him because you said unicorn. I'm going to set a reminder right now. I'm going to email him right after this. Okay, right after the stream. Uh, let me do a little reminder. Can you remind me to email apostate prophet in one hour? Got it. I'm going to send him an email. Hopefully, hopefully something like that works out. It'd be really cool to make that happen. Um, okay, let's read some more comments here. Thank you so much, Unicorn. I appreciate you. 200 viewers, man. Over 200 viewers. I think we peaked at like 210 viewers. It's amazing. Um, we got the lovely Muhammad commenting more things here. Ben, I am from South Lebanon, you little bitch. I am from the people that come in your nightmares. Muhammad seems like a really rational, level-headed, nice person. Really, really nice person. Also, Sush wrote, I like your nose, and then gave me a pig nose and cat eyes. Thank you. I don't really know how to react to that one. Okay, here's a comment from Instagram, which we haven't gotten many engaging ones so far. Me Ben 5 wrote, Americans have killed many workers in battle zones, and nobody's ever broke, spoken up about it or made a fuss. I couldn't recall a single situation where anybody's called out or made a big deal like this about any aid workers getting killed anywhere in the world. Ever. And I mean, come on, let's be honest. How many fucking wars have, been, have happened just since Biden has taken office, for example, around the world? How many situations like this have unfolded everywhere around the world? I haven't heard shit. Bashing Tall's looks, let us all know you're a sick anti-Semitic liar. He's very handsome. Thank you. Who's bashing my looks? Who the fuck is bashing my looks? I give a fuck. I'm just kidding. I couldn't, couldn't care less. Um, Muhammad Mahmoudul Hulk says, Hi, Tal. What is your opinion about the many Christian conservatives who are pro-Jews turning against Israel these days? Can it's always, for example, is it because of Hamas propaganda? And also, LE dropped five memberships. Oh my God, you just membered Muhammad. <laughs> you, <laughs> LE, thank you. <laughs> Muhammad just became a fucking member. That's great. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, great. Our fucking biggest hater, our biggest anti-Semite is now part of the members. Muhammad, you really, your true colors really came out. You just don't hold back, huh? I kind of want to let him back on the call again, just to see, because I feel like it would make good content. Uh, what do you guys think? Oh, I can't do a poll. Can anybody run a poll for me? All right, we're going to have to do a manual poll here. I'm just going to base it off how many yeses or nos I see, because there's 200. Should I call Muhammad back 
on uh, Instagram, all right? Please write yes or no in the comment section of the stream right now. Yes or no? Should we call Muhammad yes or no? I kind of want to let him just like let all his rabies out because he clearly has some sort of disease. Okay, overwhelmingly yes right now. All right. All right, fuck it. <laughs> Muhammad, I'm calling you on Instagram, you fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be interesting. Muhammad, uh, I don't remember your Instagram handle. If you want to shoot me a message real quick on uh, Instagram, if you want to call in, I'll call you back in right now to the chat. You can continue your anti-Semitic tirade. I just hope you know I'm just using you to make money on this stream and for content. That's literally the only reason I would call you in. Only reason. I don't remember his username. What was his username? Does anybody remember what his username was? Tall, can you put two people on a call to debate? I think we could probably set it up relatively soon. I just need more of a studio setup. It's kind of hard for me to do it. Um, what was Muhammad's username? He, it seems like he ran away. The second I said I'd call him. Oh, found him. Okay, found him. Let's see if he's down for the call. Okay, he's, he's seen it. All right, let's see. We're going to let... All right. Um, without further ado, I don't know how to say let's in, in in English, but in my dismay... And with much sadness, I present to you guys uh, a very big anti-Semite. Here is Muhammad. Drum roll, please, for Mr. India, the fakest Jew on the planet. Okay. What's Mr. up? Mr. India, Mr. India, hello again. What's up, buddy? Hello again. How are you, Mr. India? L.E., thank you for joining Clat Support Enhanced. I appreciate you, you supporting Mr. the channel. India? Yeah, guys, I'm not. I'm not super happy about this either. But let's see what it, let's see what Muhammad has to say. Muhammad, what would you like to say to the people? You really weren't keen on joining the call again. What do you feel like you didn't get to say last time? I wasn't keen on calling the. I wasn't keen on getting on the call. You was keen on getting me on the call because your whole career is little YouTube stuff where you need people to give you money for you to survive because you're a bum. You wanted me on the call, little Mister India. You wanted me on the call. You are all, you are all bastards, bro. Look at Netanyahu. Netanyahu went into the summit and he said, I, Iran wants to threaten me. You guys all didn't want to help me. You are shook. You are scared to your toes. You are scared to your feet. You are, listen, brother, you can kill 30,000, kill 40,000, kill 50,000, 60,000, 70,000. Allahu Akbar, they are shaheeds. They are in heaven. They are shaheeds. We do not care. We do not care no more. We don't fear death. We don't fear nothing. Kill them all. Kill them all because Allah is all merciful. It's the all-knowing. It's the all-watching. The same Allah who told us to respect Jews. We respect Jews. You try to paint us as anti-Semites. We are not anti-Semites. We never was. You try to paint us as anti-Semites because it suits your jurisdictions. We never was. Jews, Christians, people of the books, Zionists, death to all Zionists. Death to every Zionist that's on this planet. Would you, uh, would death you kill me? Death to every protector of genocide. Would you kill me, Muhammad? Death to every protector of genocide. Death to every protector of genocide. Death Muh to every one of Muhammad, would you, would you, would you kill me? Genocide, calling us anti-Semites. When slavery was happened, people sit and ask, <laughs> how did slavery happen? Muhammad, they ask, how can you answer the question? Slavery happen? Muhammad, Listen, my friend, this is the thing. I don't think he's a troll. I think this is legit, but there's a lot of people who think like him. It's not, this isn't a troll. This yes, is, they think like me. This yes, is, hold on, just like to get me. a word in, I'll just turn down the volume on him a little bit. This is something very important for you guys to realize. Muhammad that I'm speaking to right now, this, there are a lot of people on planet Earth just like him. There are a lot of people who believe in this ideology. Seventh of October happened. Yeah, you heard him when I turned on the volume. You were like, "Oh, what about it?" You could hear him like a little mouse voice. <laughs> eighty years of oppression. That's why. That's why the seventh of October happened. Muhammad, can I ask you a question? What happened to the Iron Dome? Can I? Can I ask you a question, Muhammad? Let me ask you something. Let me ask you. Muhammad, would you kill me? Would you kill me? What happened to the Iron Dome? Would you kill me? I don't kill you. I'll leave that to God. God would you want? You would you want me? Way. I'm a Zionist, a very proud Zionist. My whole family is too. Would you want us? Would you want us to die? Would you want us to die? If you're, if you're a civil, if you choose 
to take your words and perform war with your words. I okay, so here, just for example, way. my family, all of my family served in the army. They all had to. They all, most of them were in combat what positions. The IDF, in the IDF. My mom, what my dad. You're Indian, bro. You're Indian. Okay, regardless of me being Indian, my mom, my so dad, my, all my cousins, Indian, my uncles, so would you... Muhammad, would you, do you have, do you have the balls right now as a man to tell me that you wish I would die? Would you stand behind your There's word? No, look at you trying to trigger me into say something. I'm not, you said all Zionists need to die. I just want to see if you'll stand behind it. You're a joke. You want me to, you're trying to, you're trying to gaslight me into saying something. A little so bit, because be I am, a little so bit. You be a victim. It's the I'm not, no, 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 not, not an under victim. Let Muhammad, me, my sweetheart, my love, Muhammad. Mi amor, no, 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 listen you. to me, I honey sugar plum. Listen to me, my sweet honey you. sugar dewdrop. Muhammad, my love, no, no, my no, no, sweetheart, no, my eyes, my 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 the little dingling thing in the back of your throat. Muhammad, listen, just listen for a second. You said, you said, you said that all Zionists, you said all Zionists need to die. You said all Zionists need to die. I'm, I'm. So I wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Good, 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 good. Good, Muhammad. Wait, one second, Muhammad. You said all Zionists deserve death. I'm a proud Zionist. My whole family is too. Do I need to die? I hope you die. There it is, folks. That's all. That's all it is. That's all it is. No, this is content, bro, Muhammad. This is content. You can't, bro, you, it wasn't hard to get this out of him, huh? It was not hard to get him out of him. Just so you know, Muhammad, I'll just turn this down for him. Muhammad, if you watch this later, June, Muhammad sounds scarily ignorant, but even scarier when Gen Z sprouts the same BS. She just increased her clat support to clat support intensified to support the channel in your name. And YB dropped us another super chat. In your name, Muhammad, $14.99 because of you. Due to despicable treatment of Israel, Israel should not only... Should only ever help Israel in the future and not over explain to the haters who I now even hate more, especially my birth country who can't lead us. I couldn't agree more. I don't know if we only need to help ourselves, but we need to focus on ourselves more. Um, wait, Muhammad, sorry, I'm bringing you back. Sorry, buddy. You were yelling too much, buddy. Yes, what, what's up, my love? How are you? Kif khalat ya habibi. How can you call yourself a Jew when you don't know the Torah? No, I'm not a Jew. I'm a Zionist. I'm a lizard. Okay, so you accept you're not a Jew. Everyone on the not a Jew, Indian. You said I was Indian. Not Jewish. I'm not a Jew. Not for the Jewish cause, he cares for the Zionist one world. Zionist order one world world order lizard boy. That's what I am. No, you don't give a fuck about. I do beam me up, Zion. Who said that? I beam up. I go. I beam you up. You said you don't give a fuck about Jews. You just said you're a Zionist. You're not a Jew. I know. It's exactly what I said. Exactly okay, what I said. That makes so much sense. Tell By the way, fine. Mimi just donated Tell another 10 Swiss francs in your name. So thank you. We're at $122 because That's of you, Muhammad. Fine, I don't care. Appreciate You're you helping me make money, I my friend. I money to Palestine than you make on your stream all week. Oh. I have a lot of money, alhamdulillah, that receives all into Palestine. Into somebody, wait, wait. Somebody commented about you. Somebody said, no doctor can save that demon. How do you feel about that? Somebody called you a demon. How do you feel about this? He's self-projecting. You're all self-projecting. We're all self-projecting. Damn! Oh my God! Another twenty dollars in your name, Muhammad. Thank you so much. Proud Zionist here. Here's some more money. Thank you. Thank you, Allison. And thank you, Muhammad. Thank you. Hundred and forty-two dollars on stream tonight. You come on the stream next time and say with your chest. Say with your chest. I'll say it now. I have my chest here. I'll say it now. Here's another four ninety-nine. By the way, because of you, thank you. My doctor refused to sign my medical form to do Sar El to do Sar El volunteers for Israel. We're taking this to the top. Hell yeah, baby. Let's take it to the top with Muhammad. Muhammad, I'm calling you in every fucking stream moving forward. You're gonna, you're gonna be my money boy. You're gonna be my sugar daddy. Hundred percent. You are gonna be my sugar daddy moving forward, my friend. Do you, um, Muhammad? Do you watch Muhammad Hijab? Do you like, do you like him? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. Sorry, sorry. I don't listen to no Muhammad Hijab. I don't listen to no Ali Dawa. So who do you listen to? Who do you listen to? Beat me up, Zion. Beat me up, Zion. Thank you for the five Singapore dollars. Man, a lot of money is flying in right now. God damn, you guys are amazing. Unicorn just dropped. Ben just dropped. All for you, Muhammad. I promise, by the way, between us, this is not planned. I don't know this guy. He's just a fucking asshole. But thank you, guys. 
So, so top wait, why B wrote, Muhammad is a true example of October 7th and why no more helping or trusting them. Go back to Arabia. Also, why won't one Arab country take Gaza people? How do you feel about that? You dirty European bastards. You're all raped, bro. You've all been raped. You're all dirty Europeans. None of you are from the land. None of you are from the people of Moses. None of you are from the people of Isaac. You're all fucking washed Zionists. I stand with Jews. I stand with Jews. Every watcher on this channel. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. MZ, MZ Baller, I think, wait, somebody, somebody commented in your support, somebody, somebody commented, wait, wait, Muhammad, Muhammad, you're so annoying to talk to, man, just wait a second, every Jew that accepts the Torah, every Jew that accepts, they are in exile because of their lack of obedience, okay, Muhammad, MZ, MZ, MZ Baller just said, why are you engaging, he said, why are you engaging with this man who is clearly emotionally distressed? Are you emotionally distressed? Thank you for the $5. Thank you for the other $5. Miri and 12BK, my show. Thank you guys so much for the super chats. We're at $167 on stream right now. 240 people live. This is the most we've ever had live. We are not anti-Jew. We are not anti-Semite. We are anti-Zionism. Anti-Zionism. We do not hate Jews. We do not hate any of this. We are anti-Zionist. People like this little Indian try to cause more conflict That's me. in our area. I'm the little Indian. They try Indian. to cause more hate in our area. They try to cause more segregation in our Thank area. Thank you, Ben. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hating on Europeans has a British Every accent. True. Listen to this chat. A bit hypocritical. Take this. Take this with no salt. We are not anti-Jew. We are not anti, not any anti -Jew. Of this religion. This is not a religious issue. This is an issue. Wait, Muhammad, how do you Zionism. feel about B'nai Israel from the Quran? No how do you How do you feel God. about B'nai do not believe in Yeshua. How do you feel How do you feel about B'nai Israel from the Quran? And thank you Aaron for the 698 Singapore. Be me up Zion. To this chat. Stop believing fake people like this guy that go on YouTube to make a living. He's broke. Don't believe me anymore, money. folks. The way he makes believe money Muhammad. is by causing more controversy. The only way he makes money is by more controversy. In the same sentence, Your faith he will say it's so sad that the workers died. Straight after, he'll say, but so what? No one cares. In the same sentence, Joanne just super so chatted us $19.99. We're at 200 bucks because of Joanne. Oh my God, you guys are amazing. Allison just Muhammad, you are you are a fucking money maker, dude. You are a fucking money maker, bro. Two hundred and one dollars because of you. This is unbelievable. You're coming on every stream. You are coming on every fucking stream moving forward. You are coming on to every goddamn stream moving forward, buddy. Muhammad, can you tell That's me about you can, can you tell me can you're you tell me about B'nai Israel from the Quran? No, no, I'm listening. I'm really listening now. I'm listening. Look, I'm less aggressive. I'm less aggressive. I want to hear you out. Can you tell me about B'nai? Tell me about B'nai Israel from the Quran. Just tell me. Tell me about B'nai Israel from the Quran. I want to hear it from your perspective. I do not conform to your questions. You are no one. You are no one but a dirt on underneath my foot. You are nothing for me to accept your questions. Fuck you, you dirty Indian. I say one last time to all the people on this stream. Us Imagine how many Indian Muslims there are in this world and he's just calling me a dirty Indian like... He, this Us Jews are not anti-Jewish. We are anti-Zionism. Anti-Zionist. anti-genocide. We are anti-genocide. Anti Except for when you do a genocide in Lebanon and in Syria, Saudi Arabia, the UAE... It's been, except for when you do genocides everywhere in the Arab world, but other than that, you're anti-genocide. <laughs> for, sure, anyway? for, sure, for sure, buddy. For sure, buddy. Joanne just dropped us another 1999. The Indian, what was it? The Indian Fuck hate makes me sad. Yeah, Jews. he's very anti-Indian for some reason. There's a lot of Muslims in India. It's kind of anti-Muslim in India. Any real Jew that's on this chat, have enough faith in your Lord. Have enough faith in your Lord and have enough fear of the other guy's fucking scary. This is the kind of guy who ends up stabbing somebody or does some fucked up terrorist shit. Know that Allah and Yeshua, the same person, the same God. LE dropped us ten dollars. Why? Why does Muhammad hate Indians? Muhammad, why do you hate Indians? Not because of me. Because literally, they, they, they suck Israeli toes. Indians are Hindus who believe a red who believe a red cow is their god, but they suck Whoa. Israeli. 
Like what about what about the Indian Muslims, bro? There's a lot of Indian Muslims out there. There is no, no Indian Muslims. I have Indian Muslim friends. They walk on. They have they have put the Israeli flag on the floor and they spit and walk on it every day. Ah, but, but Indian, Indian Muslim Indian, Indian, Indian Muslims, Muslims are okay. The You're... Indian Hindu party, the Hindu Indian party. Ah, nothing but so you just hate Israel. Hindus? You hate Hindus, not no, Indians. I, no, no, no. Hindus are have have shown and exposed themselves. To aid and to protect Israel, whether it's on the Twitter, whether it's on their government. But so you don't, you don't aid Indians as a nationality, just the Indian Hindus. You're okay with yes, Indian, Indian Muslims. Hindus. Indian, Indian Hindus Muslims are okay with you. Yes, and, and, and look, I, I hate you. I have, I have you hate, I know, that's clear. Hindu. I said, I hate you because, you're, because number one, you're a fake Jew. You're a Zionist. <laughs> number two, you're not from the land. You're from right. India. Right. You're from South Asia. Right. Number three, so, you're I'm from South with Asia. genocide. For sure. Number four. Like you're a good guy. Like All right, Muhammad, kapara alecha. My aunt is calling me. I have to go. But we got another fifty dollars on PayPal thanks to you. So thank you so much. You made me at least one hundred and fifty bucks tonight. So I appreciate you. Oh, he hung up. Okay. One sec, guys. I think I have to go. Or maybe I hung up. I'm not sure. Sababa, ni oedot chamesh dot dekot. Toda, Rachel, bye. What a fucking stream. <laughs> Holy shit. I got to be honest with you guys. I walked into this one saying I'm going to be live for like 50 minutes to an hour. There's no way I'm making any money tonight on super chats. There's no way that you guys are going to there's no way you guys are going to super chat. It's not going to be interesting conversation. Muhammad open invitation to join every fucking live stream moving forward. You are so much fun. Yeah, he was disgusting. That guy is absolutely disgusting. Monica, oh, I'm sorry Monica. I'm sorry I hung up right when you super chatted. Can you ask Muhammad what is the definition of Zionism? For everybody that wanted me to ask Muhammad what... The problem is with Muhammad, he, was, he wasn't actually willing to talk. I'm sure that I can find more extremist Muslims like him um, to come on the streams in the future. I'm sure that we can do it. It feels so bad to, hit, to close the stream at 231. We hit our peak tonight. We broke a record. 250 live viewers on YouTube. That's fucking crazy. And we, had, we were balancing at least another 20 on YouTube the entire time. Or on a... Instagram the entire time, so we're like we were fucking up there tonight. This was dope. We're nearly three hundred viewers. Um, thank you guys a bunch. You've support. You sent over easily over three hundred dollars in super chats and PayPal donations today. Thank you to everyone. L E H D the big ones and, and and everybody else who sent super chats today. I'll see you guys on the stream on s Tuesday. I'll be back. So we'll do some more of this stuff. Okay. Well, maybe we'll try to call back Muhammad if you guys are interested. Then. Um, I love you so much. Thank you so much. I'll be in the West Bank making some fucking crazy cool videos all week this week. So please keep an eye out on the channel. We got a video from the north of Israel coming out tomorrow. And uh, thank you. I love you guys a long time. Thank you so much. I'm going to go celebrate with my mom her birthday. Bye, guys. Thank you a million times.